Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Shit on Eric Day. So, um, <laughs> um, it's, uh, yeah, okay. Um, you guys, Dying. you guys say the words that you say, and, uh, the two guards are gonna follow along with you. They actually will be able to answer questions for you and stuff like that as you guys go. I imagine Kieran is, like, um... Like that really obnoxious, like cat fighty kind of friends that every once in a while just like wants to jump at them, like, oh, you're lucky, you're lucky to hold me back, guard, random guard person, and uh, everybody else is like, Karen, calm Fuck down, they're not up. even part, they're, 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 like, uh-huh. but your laws, and like, Karen, they're, they're, they're literally paid guards, you know, um, <laughs> they hate the laws, <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> So, uh, you guys are making your way throughout the, uh, the city. I already described it to you. It's very much like, uh, cities that you see throughout the rest of, um, the, the five nations. So, which is way more than five nations, but, um, it has that same, you can see the trees growing beyond the walls. You can smell the ancient forest. All that stuff is, is still there. Uh, this is not where swamp area is. It's actual forest area. Um, any interactions you want to have with the guards at the moment? I assume no. Okay. Other than asking Other than fuck for you places and fuck your to, country. I, no, I would I would straight up ask for places <laughs> to get good clothing. They would they would bring you to to places uh, for yourself, absolutely. And then I would look. The then part. we would have a fashion montage where I'd stra- I straight up ask like, what what do you think I should get? And can someone pay for me because uh, Luca will give you people. the the last twenty five gold he has to buy the whatever you need. I mean. Um, what do I have on me? Did I lose all my equipment, or...? It's a good question. Be We're gonna have to go over a lot of that, like... We can between... go over it later. I'm gonna assume yeah. nothing right now. Uh, fine? You do still have... You and Stalbar do still have some of your equipment. You know what I mean? It's just... I, it's... I basically deleted things that were unessential. Like yep. Herbalism kit. Yep. Off. You know? Yeah. What I figured would be okay. There but were a lot of things spell. that Kira would be sad about, like her ra- magical rings, I assume she was oh, wearing. Yeah. Um, uh, Odette's card. Gone. Like, eh. What about your little misty step thing? Probably gone, right? It's glass shattered. I'm, I'm, I was oh, surprised sad. you didn't misty step like out of that. Like, yeah, oh, I these totally are about to would up. be able to do that. I'm not a warlock that does it when they take damage. I have to do it on my turn. Mm. It's a conscious effort. So, uh, I mean, yeah. there's like a lot of stuff can be sad to lose. Like, there's a tiny like, little music box. Sad to lose, like. Hmm. So we'll go over that later, I imagine. Yes. Yeah. Um. So what? What? What do you think I should get clothing wise, team? Well, so uh, because of the fact that this is an Fashion ancient forest land. and stuff like that, there are in fact people actually, of your homeland that are here. Like, there's actually a shop that is like, oh, well, there, this is another comfortable place. A for little, to little layer. And I would like exactly. to also return it because we're gonna go see House Lairendar. He might be like a House Lairendar clothing. I mean, I have had a it's set. It's already a thing. thing he already yeah, had a set. It blew up. If I get him house in our clothing, that'd be fine. If she can, I, imagine. I would wear it, but I'm also going to look into this shop. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um... Uh, she asked you a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you will be able to, to find a lot of that stuff, though. So... That doesn't answer anything. Oh, sorry. What was the specific thing you were looking for, Karen? You just got it. <laughs> I, um, I was going to ask for House Leonard clothing for him while oh, yeah. we being with House Leonard representative. Yeah, that's easy. Okay. I assume actually immediately that's where you wanted to go. Sorry about that. I assume that's <laughs> Scotted. Immediately where you wanted to go to uh to get there, no problem. You were able to to find you they bring you to House Lirandar first, because you actually said before, what's the first place? So um when they I bring have no the, issue with that. When you they bring you to the House Lirandar representative, um the person has no idea who you are, has never like it's one of those you have no affiliation whatsoever. However, um they will I introduce and, myself. I tell him who my uncle is. I tell him what happened to us. I tell him he needs clothes, and that House Cad did this, and that I'm pissed. They did it. Um, <laughs> okay. Break it down. Lots of taking it at once. First of all, 
Um, I need the names of everybody that has passed from our from your ship, whether they be House Lirandar or not. We I need to send the appropriate word to the family. I give them. I fish out. Very I fish out a uh, another copy of my notes that I hand to him. <laughs> it's incredibly efficient. It's actually better than any captain's logs I've ever seen. He very is. He's wonderful. <laughs> but so, um, I will of course read this. When I have time. <laughs> um, Throws it in the trash. <laughs> no. In the meanwhile, though, so you you believe House Caneth has done this? Uh, I believe a representative of House Caneth, who was not a blood member, who had married into the house, who I was... Is it official Caneth business? Not, yes. Official Caneth business. Okay. One, justice will be served. If members of House Lirandar have died... There will be justice served. Don't worry about that. I'm very angry. Things here are a little different than how we handle it in many of the other countries. Uh, if you were in Zendrick, you probably could just walk up to them and lightly bolt them in the face. And you'd be fine. Um, if you are in the other five nations, you just walk up to any guard and they would arrest the person and we'd figure things out because you're making an accusation and whatnot. Here, however, everything is on a standstill until we have evidence to prove such. So... But I really want to kill him. Well, the problem is that uh, the what you're referring to is a house to a house. Now, you've also alluded... No, it's not. It's a person to a person. He committed a crime. I'm going to kill him. Okay, no. you, you are... One, you cannot talk like that. The time of war is over. Like, you can't just openly threaten people's <laughs> lives. War is over. Uh, were you a captain during that time? Yes. Okay, so you probably are accustomed to being able to take over ships, uh, yes. torture people for information, <laughs> Straight murder people. Uh, uh, <laughs> throw them off the deck. I understand that. Um, I, we actually have counseling for people like that, but not here. <laughs> you you should probably head back to Shard or something for, for handling these problems that you're going through. However, right now, this is a, a Kenneth to Lirindar matter. Uh huh. So, so we need to handle that. But you have already alluded to there being likely other people that are not House Lirindar that have died because of this. That were not on your ship, potentially in that city. Yes. If that's the case, we can get them arrested immediately. So we need to send word there. You've already Verbal. spoken. You've already spoken to the guard, to the captain yes. of the guard, and yes. she's already sending word that way. Of course. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. Lovely woman. So I, I think she's pleasant as well as far as captains she's of guard go. <laughs> so what I need you to also do out, is... People of New Throne are concerned. Um, people out there died as well because these things exploded and I gave them to people there. We don't know currency. that yet. What's, what I need you to do is sit back, <laughs> relax, and do nothing. And, and please hear me out as to why. Really? Uh, one, one... You have a broken ship. So unless you're going to buy horses and ride your way there uh, through the dangerous forests, which I don't suggest you're doing. It's not where you're comfortable. Uh, two, uh, you gave those gems to people and then they blew up. So it's very likely that you are currently the villain. Um, really? Because we had a lot more. I, I, am, I am a representative of House Lirandar hey, looking out for Do you want to know why I don't Lirindar's have any clothes anymore? No. <laughs> I blew up, sir. <laughs> Me. Well, are the effects not permanent? He says, like, no, I got better. Not. I got better. <laughs> Aaron L., is that permanent? The whole death thing? Okay. Sometimes we come back. It's, it's fair. He is very strange looking. I'm not very familiar with your customs. But wow. please very listen. Rude. I need you to, I need you to just relax and allow the, the, the law to handle okay. it. We are sending word there. I get word anyway in particular because i am not happy about this at all you are a person that can write a letter and send it by the normal channels you're welcome to do so uh what normal channels there's no house civis here write a letter that's and feel free to shove it up your that ass. is the normal channel <laughs> that's a fair point you're not accustomed to not dealing with house civis we can have on the next ship that i have hand in traveling from here to new throne which will be later today i can have them deliver a letter for you Thank you. I will call it a favor to whoever the captain is. But however, I've 
heard that there are members of Hub in this area. Although there's not an enclave of any sort. I would need to touch those people, please. There might be. Honestly, I'm very angry at you right now. <laughs> You're inefficient. I'm inefficient? Stop no, yelling at the dead, Karen. He's helping us, Karen. I imagine... He's literally in the middle of helping us. He's literally dragged away at this point again by Luca. Yeah. I, I thought I thought it go it would go without saying. You know, just... So so Karen I do it again. K Karen, yes. um so drag Karen. I do need your full name since you were a cap the captain of the ship that uh, My name is Karen Larendar. Do you have no other uh name for your family? Are you full Larendar on both sides? Yes. Oh. Uh and do you have any other family names? No. Then I need your parents' names. Cord of the Larendar. As my aunt. Calvin Diller is my uncle. And I don't have a father. So, fuck off. I'm, I'm wow. sorry. I'm so sorry. Who is your uncle? Caladin de Larendar. The viceroy of Larendar in Stormreach. I know exactly who your uncle is. Um, yeah. Thank you for the connection. <laughs> um, I will make sure that when I send word back to uh, Storm... to Stor uh, Through Stormbreach... Uh, that the captain Storm of the breach. ship has... Not breach. No, no, Storm Breach. Not Storm Breach. Storm oh, Breach. I'm not sending word to your uncle. I'm sending word to our house. Fuck your house. I'm... That's okay. I'm, I'm so perplexed at the moment. You're charged right now, sir. You're Delirindar. Are, are, what do you mean by she my house? He has a mark. Does he not know this thing? No, he does. <laughs> but she said, fuck your house, referring yeah, to his own I house. Guess. Boris, Boris, she I said, know. "It's fine." <laughs> yeah, it, it's like that's like me saying to you, Eric, "Fuck your mom." It's like, well, it's my mom too, so like, so yeah. so he's perplexed. He's like, "What do you mean by you mean our house?" It's fine. It's fine. Our house. <laughs> okay, I will be sending word to our house about what has happened. Um, you have draft whatever letter you want. Here's pen. Here's ink, ink, a quill, and some paper, and I will send that to uh, New Throne to wh whomever you'd like. By the way, did you mean Storm Home? Scott? Oh, I did. Storm home, not breach. Where's breach? There's no breach. Breach. Great home. Great harbor. Oh, no, no. Great no. harbor. It's there's, a great wall. Storm home and there's storm that's breach. A, that's, our storm new, breach. that's our new uh, PC home. This is great harbor. Storm great home. Harbor. We, storm home. We can't home. remember what storm we're home, talking yeah. about. Um, um, that's fine. I would try home. to like be like angry at that, but um, I don't care. I will handle all of this, okay? Um, you draft me together your letter, uh, and I believe you were requesting some clothing for this gentleman. Yes, he's naked. I'm, I'm not naked. Mostly. <laughs> I, I, like I will support, find. Though. I will find you some so, uh, a, a tunic and trousers. Thank you, sir. Of course. And um, remember how soon as I can talk to. Thank you. I uh, will send out word to try to do this. Uh, understands, Kieran, I'm here to assist you. However, um, I'm not here to serve you. So I will do what I can I to, get that. to aid. Do it quickly, please. <sighs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I thought, you I thought, I, I thought I'd walk there, is, there is on my desk ink, quill, and parchment, please. And, uh, and he, leaves the, he leaves his own fucking office. Um... Uh, when he, Karen, I imagine you draft a letter. Did you guys chat at all during this time? I just say, that, I just say before I, I walk out of the room, I say, Karen, it must have been absolutely no. lovely to work with no. you before. No. <laughs> I'm going to find a bar. And it was I'm time of war. I kill people. You know, I do people who disobeyed me, like in time of war. I had them fucking walk the plank. So that was me in time of war. Right, right. Is going to find pretty a bar. Pretty good. Considering. Yeah, I'm gonna drink its content. Yeah, so so literally Luca like grabs Reich like arm in arm, like we're facing opposite directions, and just like starts walking out, like letting her like she's in a safe place before he was picking her up and grabbing her so she couldn't cause issues. She is literally in her own house in a safe place. He's like, Reich, we're going to get drunk. Like we're just grabbing, like we're going. Like I imagine Karen's there still like raffling off things at us as we just literally. I'm gonna gesture at Stalvor. Like, no, we're we're, gonna, we're all gonna <laughs> I need to close. We're gonna, we're gonna, gonna like pants. <laughs> we're gonna wait for that to happen, and then we're gonna get drunk. Yeah. Okay. Well, he no, comes I'll back several minutes up. later, and he has some some just literally 
basic clothing for any we, shipmate. We did this before. We had like basic Lear and Dark clothing and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. liked it. So yep. he's got no issue with this plan. And he brings it in and he gives it to you. And it's comfortable, of course, when you when you finally get around to putting it on. So he puts it on. Uh, so, so he gives it to you and he says, um, I've sent word out to uh, House Civis when I'm able to a member of House Civis to see if they can assist us. Uh, they are not bound to do so, so it would be of this own individual's free will if they choose to do so. Where will you be going so I can, uh, contact you when such time happens? The bar. The lo clearest, like, localist, closest bar. Do you want to know where, the, where our, our family tends to spend time? No. Oh, okay, then have fun finding a bar. We never really have any issues. I think, yeah, <laughs> that's he, never a problem. <laughs> he says, um, be "Best of luck to you." Did you have that letter drafted? Yeah, here you go. What, who is it for? Oh, jeez. Um, I need to send a letter to my ankle. I need to send a letter to <laughs> House um, Kenneth in Sharn. Okay. I need to have a letter sent to. Uh, House Canop, whoever the representative is, in Newport. New I need to have a letter. New throne. Newport. <laughs> Fuck. Every time. Um, I think that's it. Okay, he says. Oh, this you know what? Maybe I would have a letter sent to um, Dane's father. Why the fuck not? He says Wait. this one to New Throne. I will certainly take care of this. Is one that I said I would do for you. These other ones, however. They're going to take some time before they even leave port, let alone really? get to because where Because we were bombed in your waters. Remember, in they're your... Kieran, full, full circle. Full circle. Full circle. In your capital city. This isn't this is my news. country. I, I'm not from here. I wasn't raised I here. Know. I'm from I'm from Ondere. This isn't my country. This uh, isn't my water. Kieran, Kieran, Kieran. Ondere fucking sucks anyway. Let so how much man do. How much money do you need? He, he's just looking at you perplexed. He's like, I, I I want to explain to you the way that you're behaving, but you come off as the kind of person that that I don't either care. doesn't I realize don't, or don't I care. I really don't care. How much money you know what, Honestly, about? Kieran, I, I want to assist you. you, and I'm going to because this is the house. But Members you personally, of House Lerner died. Members of House Lerner died. You personally can fuck off. I'm doing this for the ones fine. that died. That's fine. Do you have one that died then? Are you happy? Please leave away? my office. Bye. <laughs> and uh, a nice gentleman. <laughs> so, you guys, you you leave the office <laughs> after you're costing another innocent person, uh, and you very quickly find a bar. It's not hard to do. Hey, where's a bar o over there? Right, where's a Thank bar? You. Oh, there it is. So you're you guys nice. are able to walk into a bar. <clears throat> Uh, I, I, I walk into a bar and I order two bottles of whiskey. I I literally go to the bar. I sit at the bar, and I yeah, I'm just literally sitting at the bar, not a table or anything like that with chairs. Or I go to the bar, sit at the bar, and I'm like, I'm gonna get drunk before I go and talk to all my friends. Like I, I just I need to be alone for ten minutes. Do you actually say that to him? Uh, I say that to the bartender with Reich directly next to me. Like, Reich, Reich would, uh, Reich would uh, just like he'd order two uh, two balls of whiskey, four glasses, and he'd go sit at a uh, sit at a table, and then start drinking. Open one and start drinking. He looks at he looks at you. So you uh, order a bottle of whiskey, two, two bottles. bottles, two bottles of whiskey. Uh, he's like, um, we don't usually sell it like that. Um. I'd listen, drop. listen, boys, boys, you look like you, you need a stiff drink. I suggest you order the octopus. Does it have seawater in it? No, it's it's then, eight uh, shots. I'll have two. <laughs> and he looks to, to uh, Luca. Give the man two. <laughs> Would you like an octopus as well? Oh, uh, I'll say, I'll, I'll say, you. I'll nod and say, yes. Okay. Uh, what comes out is this beautiful, like wooden crafted thing. And it's literally, it's like the head of an octopus and it has on it a bit of cheese. And it's, this is very important. Carnathy cheese, uh, with a, uh, a loaf of bread. And this is important. 
It's kabarring bread. Um, with uh, eight different tentacles reaching up around all over the place. And each one of the tentacles has like a little slot put inside of it. And there is a, 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 a shot put into it. It has eight different shots of eight different types of liquors um, all put inside. And you can see it's pouring from all these different bottles to fill the thing up. Um, but these shots are uh, the smallest shot is the size of a normal shot glass. And from there, they get kind of bigger until the last shot, the eighth one, is like a triple shot by itself. Um, and Reich ordered two of those. So he's handed two of these platters with the cheese and the so, bread and, and effectively like 12 shots. I just, like, I just look at it, I'm like, I almost just want this for the cheese and the bread. <laughs> Before say, he prepares mine. Like, yeah, go ahead, Reich. You say, go, go ahead. I just say, I, I, whatever soup you have, please give me a large dollop of it. <laughs> I'm gonna need that. A dollop of soup. A dollop of soup. What? Gross. Thank you. And then before he prepares mine, I'm gonna say, how much is that? Oh, uh, this right here. It's um, as you might guess, uh, eight gold pieces. I right. feel like. Takes a big sigh. Like, oh. I lay, uh, takes out like, eight gold pieces. Before he does that, I just put my hand on, uh, hand on his, and I put twenty-four gold pieces on the uh, on the table. And I say thank you, and I go take mine to my to the table. Okay. Meanwhile, Karen is just gonna like hold her head in her hand and just style board. And they died because we were looking into this. Almost makes you want to stop, doesn't it? Yeah. We can't now, I mean... It wouldn't do any good. Yeah, things would just get worse. I mean, we could run, but what would good would do? Running... So it would still go after us. Well, I was about to say running doesn't work, but it's actually worked for me so far. Yeah, up until this point. Right? Yeah. I don't know, Kieran. I'm with you. If you want to keep looking into this, sure. If you want to retire to some farm that's probably also on a boat, <laughs> I'm also there. Yeah, but could you stop dying along the way, please? <sighs> you know what? You, uh, a while ago, you said if the boat was ever on the uh, in the area... You'd stop at Aira now. I think I'll take you up on that offer on the way back from the Dwarven holds. With you. Huh. I think I might need to sort things out there. If I am yeah. going to die, I at least want to sort everything out. I don't really want my parents' last memory of me to be escaping from the law. Or blowing up. Well, Salpar, I'll have you know that if I have to kill every last elf on the island twice, I'll do it. That? <laughs> he, he, like, puts his hand on her shoulder, but then hugs her. Aw. <laughs> but don't, though. <laughs> <laughs> Who <laughs> whispers it? Yeah. That's like one of those lines that only Ollie can pull off. You know, what I mean? like I think of everybody I know. If they only Ollie can pull that off. <laughs> but, but don't, though. Just like don't. But don't. <laughs> oh, well, that's so we'll funny. see if we can make it that far with our broken ship. Uh, it'll be fine. You're the best captain I know, and I know more than one captain now. Thank you. And then uh, I imagine we walk into the bar. Mm. Karen's like, these five words, I swear to you, I will don't. kill for you. Don't sing. Yeah, just don't sing. <laughs> um, <laughs> Step one, don't. <laughs> 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 All right, moving on. So you guys go into the bar and you see that right the first you take the first shot first. The first shot you took, you threw it back and it's one of those things where it's like, "Oh, 
this is so yummy. Like the actual liquor that you drank is just so delicious. It's really, really high quality liquor uh, that you had. It's like if you were a hipster, you'd sit there and sip it uh, in a snifter glass as opposed to um, as opposed to uh, like throwing it back as a shot. It is so fucking delicious. <clears throat> how far yeah, how far into your drinks are uh, Luca and Reich when the two of them come walking in? Probably dump my first drink. <laughs> I'm first I'm... like octopus? First octopus. Okay, so the important thing about the last shot of the octopus, the last shot of the octopus actually tastes like uh salt water and raw fish, but not in like a thing. this is a horrible disgusting way. <laughs> like I literally asked that. <laughs> <laughs> he literally did ask that. I did ask that <laughs> one question. This hey, fucker lied. To tastes me. like and are Two very different things, but it, it literally tastes like like uh, 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 like a delicious sushi with like a salt water throwback as the flavor of the liquor that you're drinking, and it's actually one of those like nice because it smooths off everything that was burning leading up to it. However, Reich, I need two Constitution saves because you already drank a whole fucking octopus. Well, Eric rolls because it's gonna take forever. Um, Scott, <laughs> <laughs> the principalities have a wine that's made from, like, seawater, or uh, sea plants Yep. in life. I'm going to order that for Salbor and I. Hey. Yeah, so absolutely. Like, so you walk in, and you order that, and uh, the person, like, looks at your face, like, mm. yeah. and hears you order that wine, and uh, he actually, like, stops and regards you, and, like, when he goes over to get the bottle, he, like, looks back at you several times, like, while you're, while he's mm -hmm. getting it, and pops it open. And he comes over with the two glasses and the wine, and he pours like a couple glasses for you guys, and like gives you the. Can I help over you? There. You're staring. Uh, yeah. Um. Uh, I moved here to uh to Kabara. I I was the one that moved here. Uh, I wasn't like raised here like a lot of other people. Um, I uh, I moved here from the principalities. Oh. Um, I was a uh, a refugee, I guess, and um. I spent a lot of principalities. Yeah, uh, there was the you know prince of the islands that I was on. It doesn't really matter. It was a tyrant, and uh, it was actually technically illegal uh, what, what 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 happened and all. But um, there was a bunch of ships of Lirindar that came and and blew his place up and um, and kill everybody, killed like him and his family and the guard and they they looted you know his vaults and took all of his monies and whatnot and you know whatever they did what they had to do but it allowed myself and you know my my little sister to get out and we were able to leave the islands and the tyrannical rule and and come here and build our life that we have here and I'm sorry, trying to rule uh, Lirindar or whoever had the principality before. The prince, the prince. The, I'm saying Lirindar saved oh. us, you know, and I, I'm just trying to say thank you because, like, no member of House Lirindar comes in and orders this wine unless they serve some time out there, and you just admit it, you did. So I don't know if you had a hand in this. I'm just saying thank you. Did I, You're Scott? welcome. I might have. Like, I don't know. It's one of those. I, it's like, I honestly don't know if I did. Um, I did what I was told at the time. Stalbor puts his hand. You're on welcome. Hers, where, yeah, wearing the Lirindar cloak, just goes. You're welcome, and picks up the the glasses and, and walks over to the right. Okay. I actually will like make to chat with him and see like he knows the current going on in the principalities right now. All right. Since we are so close. <laughs> All right. So um, so it's funny. Speaking of Lirindar and the principalities, do you know anything about them starving people right now? What was that? I'm sorry. You just started it. No, no, I straight out said what was that as opposed to like trying to move on because <laughs> I thought of, I heard um, it. Speaking of Lirindar and the Principalities, um, do you know anything about them, you know, starving the people there right now and not, you know, saving them at the moment? I don't know much of what goes on out there when... I'll be honest, when people come in from the principalities, I, I don't usually listen to the conversations. Usually it's like the job of a barkeep to do that sort of stuff, but like, I avoid it. It's, it's, I don't like hearing it because it's where I came from. You know what I'm saying? I try to avoid it. I understand. 
Yeah. So um, I'm sorry. Others might have answers for you, but it's, yeah. but thank you for the wine. If you need and anything else, let me know. Of course. Okay. 